First, the stage plug object. This object replaced the stage object found in Vectorworks 2014 and prior. This stage object will create a stage of any shape desired, regardless of complexity. A stage plug is created either by drawing the desired shape directly with the stage plug tool, or by using event planning create stage to convert existing geometry into a stage plug object. Similar to the stage deck tool, covered in just a moment, the stage plug has a number of basic configuration options. Most of these are identical to the deck, in fact, so we'll go over all of them at once. The stage deck creates a standard, normally portable, stage object. It can be configured as a rectangle or half circle, has a number of options similar to the stage plug, but with more configurations available. Like the stage plug, they have a number of configuration options, but decks have more options for the legs than plugs do. Deck shape determines whether the stage deck will be rectangular or round. In a rectangular configuration, you have control over the height, width, and length. In round configuration, you have control over height as well, but instead of width and length, you're able to control the radius, diameter, and sweep angle. Sweep angle in particular governs the overall shape, as it allows you to create either a complete circle or a variant on a semicircle. Structure includes the various construction types. Legs Basic will give you the simple straight legs that can be customized in shape and color below in the Leg Structure Details section of the Object Info Palette. Deck Details allow you to change the attributes of the top or the deck itself. Rail Details is where you can add a railing and or a toe to the various edges of your deck. In rectangular decks, you have an option for each side individually. In a round deck, you will have two options for the straight edge and one for the arc edge as well. Like the legs, the railing profile can be round, square, or octagonal. You'll also notice at the bottom of the leg details section a checkbox that allows you to add or remove the caster wheels from the deck's legs. 3D options, and this applies to all the stage objects, lets you custom color or texture each component of the stage deck individually. You have direct control over the deck's top and trim, the legs, and if they're enabled, the border, caster wheels, and rails. Text options will allow you to add a label to your stage objects, letting you add commonly needed information that will update automatically if the attributes of the stage object are changed later on. Whichever options you check here, these values will be listed on the text label itself. These can be added or removed at any time. Stage lifts. These versatile devices are used throughout the stage lighting and theatrical industry to hold a wide array of hardware, from truss and lighting to video screens. This highly configurable plug-in object has many configuration settings. Fork position allows you to set how the fork is mounted on the top of the lift, or if one is not mounted at all. When you adjust the height, the object extends or contracts appropriately. You can see it telescoping in and out here. Width allows you to adjust the spread of the fork tongs. Orientation controls whether the fork will be pointed outwards or upwards. The fork, mast, legs, base, and hardware can be colored gray or silver, whichever best matches your stage or conceals the lift from view. As with the previous two objects, you can also use text options to add a label to your lift, identifying its make, model, and various other attributes. Finally, stage steps and stage ramps. These objects are simple, configurable ways to add access to your stage. Many of the attributes are shared between the two, so we'll cover the differences first. The steps have a number of structure modes, self-adjusting, frame freestanding, solid freestanding, open freestanding, and simple. The step object's overall height can be configured in one of two ways, either by setting the stage height and the number of steps, or by setting the number of steps and the rise of each step. In open freestanding and self-adjusting, you'll have options to control the stringer as well. Below, you can configure the thickness of individual steps. Pitch information is calculated for you automatically from the values entered above. For ramps, the structure choices include legs, ramp only, solid, truck ramp, and simple. The height and width are entered manually, and the user is able to select from a number of methods to determine the ramp's length. Ramp length floor length, pitch angle, pitch ratio, or pitch percent. Similar to the step thickness settings, on a ramp you can control the thickness of the top, 
and trim directly as well. For both ramps and steps, you can configure the leg geometry with the same choices available in stage decks and plugs, as with the rails letting you set either left, right, or both, as well as the individual configurations for each. Each of these last two objects also come with their own set of text options, allowing you to present any needed information directly in plan view, again automatically calculated based on any changes you've made in the object info palette.